Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my name is Amanda, if you guys are new here, and I'm a 23 year old cash budgeter that lives in Texas. So today's video is going to be my first Sunday savings for the month of September, and I am super excited for this video. Um, now that I've gotten back into the swing of filming these, I always look forward to them, and it's like one of the favorite, my most favorite parts of the week. So we're gonna just go ahead and pull out my six envelopes. I'm also going to set up my dice tower, which I did get this one off of Etsy. I believed it is, or I believe it's finally linked um, down below. So definitely check that out if you're interested. I think it was like around ten dollars i know it wasn't like over 15 by any means um but they do have a bunch of color options so that's really fun so we're just gonna go ahead and shuffle these envelopes up i play my mini or sorry sunday savings with 50 dollars, so i do 20 dollars in fives and the rest in ones so that's how um i like to divide my money but okay so let's go ahead and lay these out so we have challenge number one this is a freebie that i made um i will have my freebies linked down below i also made this bambi one as well and then we have chatty kathy down here in spot number three um chatty kathy again in spot number four then faith girl budgets in five and another one of my minis um or my freebies in spot number six so we're just gonna go ahead and pull out my cash this should be correct because i pulled it out um at the same time as my cash stuffing money so that should be good to go i'm just going to set those to the side again this is 20 dollars, and then we have 30 in ones i also play by distributing two dollars for every roll um so that's what we're going to go ahead and do so let's just get started so we have two dollars for spot number one I mean, sorry, spot number four first, um, then two for number six. If you guys have any plans for Labor Day weekend, definitely let me know. Or I guess let me know what you did um, if you don't have Monday off. I do have Monday off. That is the day, or I guess, no, Monday is actually Labor Day, Labor Day right? I was confused. I always thought it was September 1st, um, but I do have Monday off, and then my normal weekend for my work schedule is tuesday wednesday so i am gonna have a three-day weekend and i'm super excited for that because i also had like a short work week um because with the schedule swapping and with getting labor day off i only have a three-day work week and then i get a three-day weekend so i couldn't be more excited for that because i have been so physically drained recently i honestly couldn't even tell you why but it's just been crazy. So that is all of my ones distributed. We're going to go ahead and see if we can buy back any of them using our $5 bills. Um, and then we'll distribute the rest. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and three. Okay, so let's add a $5 bill here. That's really good. This one can for sure get a five. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. So let's put that down. Um, one, two, three, four. We're just shy of that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we do have one more five that we're going to need to buy back. Um, so let's just go ahead and go until we can't with this. Um, and then we'll be able to do a third round today. So let's just keep rolling. Um, I did end up filming a sinking funds closeout for the month of August as well as um, a binder revamp video. It's all in the same one or in the same video and I plan to post that I think on Labor Day since this is going up on Sunday. Um, if not, it'll definitely be before my cash stuffing for the first week of September. So I'm very excited about that video. I have not edited the video yet so hopefully it actually turns out interesting and not just like a really boring video that I'm just gonna scrap. Um, so that is all the ones for round number two. So we just need to buy back one more five one two three four five perfect okay so now we're gonna just get rid of all of these and then we're good to count everything up um but yeah so i did add another binder into my system which i do share in that video as well as i just uh made new envelopes for all of my sinking funds and my home binder so that was really fun to set up 
Uh, but yeah, so that's all of our ones distributed. So let's just go ahead and stack all of these so we can count them up. If you did not know, I do have a foster kitten. So that is who you're hearing in the background. He just finished eating his dinner. Um, but now he probably wants to come out and play, which is why he's just crying. So let's go ahead and start with the first one, which is going to be my magical mini savings. And each space is worth a dollar. So let's go ahead and wait, we're adding one, two, three, four. So that is perfect. Let me just get my Sharpie and we're going to cross off four spaces. So one, two, three, four. I did realize after the fact that I should have done cute, like, check marks on the inside or something instead of just crossing it off like that but it's too late for that so my magical mini savings now has five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen dollars so fourteen dollars is pretty awesome so there is challenge number one so now for challenge number two we do have my bambi mini savings and each butterfly on here is worth two dollars so let's go ahead and see what we're adding first he's like he's yelling really loud right now i'm so sorry um so we have five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve dollars that we're adding which is going to be six spaces so we have two four six eight ten and twelve which means we are six dollars away from finishing this challenge which is honestly really good i felt like this one was going to take me a long time to finish so in here we have 5 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 and 22 dollars so we should i believe end with 28 when this is completed which is really good all right, so challenge number three, we have Chatty Cathy. Each space on here is also worth $2. So let's count what we are contributing. We have one, two, three, four, five, and $6. So that is going to be three spaces. So we have two, four, and six. All right, so we should have $8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. All right. So there is $8 for Chatty Cathy. So now we're on to challenge number four, I believe. So this is another Chatty Cathy. And then it looks like I also assigned each flower to be $2. So in here, we do have a $5 bill. We're adding five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and $12. So we get to add six spaces. So two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12, which is awesome. Okay, so let's count our new total. So we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 as well, which is great. So $22 in here. A lot of these are gonna end up being higher than I thought they would be, so that's really convenient. Um, next, we're on to Faith Girl Budgets. Actually, this one might have been completed um, because we did just need two for six dollars. Oh no. Oh wait. Yeah, I think we completed it. So one, two, three, four, five, six dollars. So let's do this. So two, four, and six. Wow, my kitten just used the bathroom. <laughs> it smells really bad, but I just need to finish this before I can swap this litter box. Um, Wow, that's really nasty, actually. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 dollars. So this one is allocated for utilities. So that is going to be inside of my home binder. So I'm just going to set this off to the side and let's grab a new challenge to add in here. I'm just going to grab, um, we'll do. I need to go through and get more freebies. Oh, that's another one for utilities. I'm trying not to be picky. Okay, we'll just do this one. So this is another Chatty Cathy budget. Um, save any amount so every square is blank. And this one will be for my outdoor envelope um, in my home binder. So honestly, we might just do a dollar a space for this one. Just because outdoor isn't necessarily a necessity, especially if we get something like an apartment. So we're on to my last challenge, my coconut mini savings. This one is weird because it is $3 and we're adding 10 so we can cross off three spaces for $9 and then we'll have an extra dollar for next time. So we have two, 
or sorry, three, six, and nine. And then again, we will have a rollover dollar. So I'm just gonna set that aside. And our new total is five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So $15 in here. And then I'm just gonna fold this one in half so that I know it has not completed a little coconut yet. And with that being said, that is all of our challenges, but we do need to stuff this money. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put all of this back and then we're gonna grab my home binder, which is this pink one. Oh wow, you're gonna see my new envelopes before I've even posted that video yet. So we're just gonna flip to utilities, which is in the very back. And I believe I said we're adding 18. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. Honestly, this was a really good first category to be stuffing money into because this is going to kind of be a buffer to like get ahead on utility bills. So that is always useful. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, you guys, that does bring this Sunday savings to an end. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I'm so sorry that my foster kitten is just yelling the entire time. But with that being said, I love you guys all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.